Hi guys, I want to invite y'all to our next mini lecture. It is going to be on density. All right, first of all, what is density? Density is the amount of matter that is in a specific space. So if I have a, a, a certain amount of space, I put more matter into it, then it becomes more dense. It's more tightly packed. Now, whenever you're talking about density, you need to be able to compare densities of different objects. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to talk about the density of water. A lot of things in chemistry are compared back to our universal, uh, which is water. The density of water is going to be one gram per milliliter. So basically, if an object has a density that is greater than that of water, which is one, then it will sink. If it is less than that of one, then it will float. Good example is right here. We go back in, we look at um, two objects. I first have a thing of water, trough of water, and then I have a cork and I have wood. The cork has a density of 0.12. I take the cork, I place it in the water. Since it is less than one, it will float. Now, wood, most people always think, hey, well, wood floats all the time. Well, if it's got a lot of minerals in it and it's got a lot of water, sometimes its density, like in this case, will be slightly above or more than one. So if the density is more than one, it doesn't matter if it's wood or not. If you place that piece of wood into this water, since the density is greater than one, it is going to sink. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is over here, and it's comparing densities not of a solid object against water, but what happens when you compare densities of different liquids. So I have three different liquids. I have ethanol at 0.87, I have water at 1, and olive oil at 1.28. So I'm going to put all of these into this test tube. Well, what you're going to find out is they're going to layer out. When I say layer out, I mean because of their density, the one that has the highest density, and in this case, is going to be 1.28. That's going to be the olive oil. It will sink to the bottom of the container. The next one, which is water, will sink, but since it is less dense than the olive oil, it floats on the olive oil. It won't go past it. And then finally, the ethanol. And the ethanol has the lowest of the densities, so therefore it would sink and then it would float on the water. So you'll get very specific levels. Now, whenever we're doing uh, density, we have to know the formula for density. Density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now, one of the things that I always teach, and it just helps prevent uh, just basic algebra mistakes, is if you have a formula that has three variables, like this one, density is one, mass, and volume, then you draw the little triangle. And guys, y'all are going to hear me refer to this as the density triangle. So, whatever you have, density is equal to, and then it's mass over volume. So, I would put my D right here my mass and my volume right there. You say, well, what'd you do? Well, let's say that now I want to know, hey, what's the formula for density? I can cover up the D, see that? And that leaves me with mass divided by volume. Well, what if I wanted to know the formula for mass? Well, I cover up the M for mass because that's what I'm looking for. And you see how the D and the V are beside of each other? That would be density multiplied by the volume. And then finally, what is the formula for volume? And you can see that it's mass divided by density. All right. Um, last thing that I want to do is I want to work a problem for you. When we do word problems, there are three things that you must include. Number one, the formula that you're using. So I am going to solve, determine density. So I'm going to say density is equal to mass divided by volume. That's my formula. So that's the first thing. The second thing that we include is the information. We need to plug the numbers in. So density is equal to, and in this case we have a mass of 6.82, and it's going to be divided by, and that's going to be 3.2. And finally, we will put the density 
with its units. So the mass is measured in grams. The volume is measured in milliliters. They do not cancel out. So I end up with my final answer. So the reason that I wrote this out like this instead of just putting it in is because y'all are going to be asked to type some of this stuff. So this would probably be the way that you would have to enter it. And then, of course, you would need a calculator, divide those, and you would get a density, since this number is greater than this number, of a number greater than 1. So in this case, this would would actually sink as well because it has a density greater than 1. So recap on density. What do you need to know or what have we covered in this video? We covered the, uh, the definition of density. We also covered the comparison, what happens when you compare density. Bottom line is the one that's more dense settles to the bottom. The one that's less dense will float to the top. Then we work the problem. When you work a problem, three things that you must include. The formula, substitute your numbers in, and finally, get your answer with your unit values. All right, thank you very much.